Hey ladies and gentlemen, I am here to make you some really good food. My name is White Cat's Vlogs and I forgot. I don't know how much of this rice I'm going to need, but yeah. I'm going to be using some jasmine rice, some sorrel some eggs, and we'll make some tacos with... with some of this um, and then I'm going to take this chicken and I'm going to take this orange sauce it's supposed to be orange chicken for you know to make it taste like Chinese chicken and put it in a burrito or maybe tacos I haven't decided bacon of course and this stuff and I forgot that I want some I'm going to use a little bit of cheese, but not too much cheese. And then I'm going to use this, um, what, two different kinds of pepperonis. So I hope these are good because I couldn't find those. They're turkey pepperonis. They're a little spicy, which makes it good. I don't think I'll use the ham like I wanted. I'm going to use those for sandwiches. Because I think they're good for sandwiches. I'm going to cook it here and I'm going to show you all the different things I'm going to cook for you guys. Or, well, all the things I'm going to cook. And basically, what I am going to show you is how to cook. How to cook food that you can put in a freezer and then just have it to warm up. So, food on the go is what I'm going to call it. Basically, if you have to take food to work because my work is now making us if you're if you're working that day you get 50% off of anything you want to eat which means you have to pay to eat there and they have a little break room and we have a refrigerator and a microwave I don't know how to use the vintage microwave but if you want to take if you are if you do have a microwave that you know how to use and you just want something that you can warm up you can make yourself a taco you can make yourself a burrito a taco and a burrito with anything in it and then you can throw it up in the freezer and then after you throw it in the freezer then each day you can just grab one put it in your to go take it to work and then when it's lunch or dinner time time for you to eat you can grab the microwave put it in there bada bing bada boom or like me I'm gonna eat before I go to work at four o'clock so I need something fast that I can just warm it up and then scarf it down and I can put it in the microwave for like a minute to two minutes bada bing bada boom it's done I scarf it down and then I go to work and then I just bring snacky foods for later when I take my break so if I get hungry at work, I have a snack food. I could do lunch. I can do little snacky things that I choose. It's totally up to me. If you want to know what I would bring to work someday, I can make you a t how I do my to-go lunches that I take to work. I can do that for you in a video if five or more people, of course, says, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So if you are the type of person that is going to want to make food on the go, easy food that you can just grab, eat, and go, then I'm going to call this food on the go. So let's get started. Hopefully I can make this 15 minute video and not to make it two or three parts. But uh, I got most of the ingredients out. I will be using some of these seasonings that are in here. And then I will be using some sauces that are on the side of this door. Like some of this stuff, some of this stuff, some of this stuff. You yeah, know. And then I will be putting it in here. And I'll show you how to wrap it and put it in here and stuff like that. It's really good, really easy. I can't wait to do it for you. So let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the tacos um, to put the meat into this pan and 
I may not use both of these. I'm going to use one first. And then if I don't use the second one, then we can use it for something else. But we're going to do one first. And if I think I need more, I need more. I'm going to be making different kinds of tacos and burritos. I'm not mixing all these ingredients into one taco mix or burrito mix. I'm going to be putting these in different mixes. That way, um, when you bite into your burrito for that day, it's not the same burrito. It's like a different burrito. Each burrito will be different. So, like one will have just taco and just, just taco and rice. Some will have the egg, the soil. I will make the egg soil on and rice, bacon, and pepper anything. And then the chicken, and then I'll probably add some of this into some of those burritos with those ingredients but we'll just have to see how this goes so i'm gonna get the meat cooking and what i like to do to cook the meat i'll set you up right there is i don't do what a lot of people do where they just dump it into the thing i like to to take the meat and break it up as i'm putting it in here because it will be easier to cook with and not have to break it up later in the cooking process. Which means I need my spatula. 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 Okay. So I take some of the meat like this and I shred it. It's just easier for me. You do it however you like doing it. I like doing it shredded. I have it on a five, which is good for cooking. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just the type of stove I have. So whatever medium is, I guess, for you and your stove, do it that way. And if you want, you can also bake some of this stuff. And then put it in the burrito and stuff. And you can do it however you want. You can do it in the microwave. You can do however you want. Now that chicken will go in the microwave to make. And the swirling on here. And I'll be using my other pan for that. That's why I'm starting with this first. So I'll be using two pans for this. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I feel like you're not properly set. So I can't use a tripod because I have people here and they don't know what I'm doing and if they come down the stairs they'd be like what are you doing with that tripod? And I can't turn you off right now because I don't want to get you a cool eye all over my camera. So sorry for the bad um, angles you're going to get. I can always edit it in, uh, in Movie Maker. Yeah. Sometimes I like to play with my <laughs> My meat. Don't have a dirty mind right now. You say, that's why I shave that. Play with me and I like to squish it where it comes out in strands, you know. Stuff like that. Like to be silly with it. <laughs> that's what I mean when I say play with my meat. Yes, I always have a dirty mind, but please don't. <laughs> don't be like, that's what she said. Because I already got you on that. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of, if you know who Krista and Tammy are, they make, when they do their milk bones, or Libby, she's a new kids on the block fan. Funny. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my playlist, funny videos, and you'll find them. Yeah. And you can also take your spatula, spatula, and cut into it as well. It's really easy. I'm going to wash my hand real quick. With this lovely soap that is the best soap on the planet. Yeah. 
draw my hands off. Ah, you're not a tall, so I could draw my hands, bub. Baby, baby. That's what the meat's looking like. I turned off the camera, but yeah. Do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Make sure I throw this away in the trash. Sometimes when I make tacos, sometimes I like to add a little seasoning, sauces, but I'm just going to make this regular and then do that after instead of doing it while it's cooking. But it's real cool and real nice to put the seasonings and sauces on top while it's cooking so that when it gets all brown and stuff like this that you can what's the word I'm looking for that you can uh, it'll, it'll, when you take your bite it'll be all juicy and stuff I like to put a lid on this one because it'll cook faster so I'll see you when it's cooked hi I decided I'm gonna put some of this garlic pepper and herbs seasoning in there and yeah I got this for deal where there's different seasonings in here I've talked about it before and you don't want all that you don't want that because then all of them will go in there that wasn't supposed to happen so I'm gonna pick get that back up okay let's try that again I'm gonna do a garlic and herbs you just want to pick up that one slot and just dump it in as much as you want you don't have to do what I do you can put your own seasonings in but this is what I'm choosing to do now I'm going to let it cook a little more after I stir it. And then voila! I'm going to stir it in. Then I'm going to get my strainer out. Get that ready to strain it. Which is right here. But you don't want oil to go on the in the sink so you gotta put the oil in here in a bowl with you're gonna want a little bit of water so it doesn't stick to the bowl and then you're gonna do it like this ah shit now we got old school equipment my mom's had it since she got married in the 60s 70s whatever and so yeah that's what we're gonna do i need two hands for this so i hope you can see what i'm doing but i'm just putting the meat in here into the bowl and then what you do with the grease after it's been in here and stuff and it cools off then you'll take the grease and dump it in the trash of course i mean you can talk about it before different ways i've done it so you can watch go watch that video on that and i've known Swirling one, I've made that one too. So you can also go to the annotations to see how I cook that. Then you'll know what how to do it. But I know you're only supposed to put like a certain amount of water, but I just eyeball it because you don't really need that much water. But you'll take this and let me move you back over here. And you'll dump this. And you have to do it really you have to do it really quick and really fast or the water will evaporate quickly. If you don't do it quickly, it'll evaporate. The water will evaporate quickly and then you have to put more water in. And that's okay if you have to put more water you just don't want it soupy because you're not making taco soup even though you could make taco soup let me know in the comments down below and make a video of it i'd love to try it 